night. Obviously, we're out doing some repoing. We've got a car on the back right now that we just picked up up in Salt Lake, and we're going to be heading down to the yard in Utah County to drop it off. But on the way down, I've got kind of a special circumstances when I've got a stop on. Uh, it's one that's actually out for repo by a different company, but uh, they're uh, they've been unable to get to the vehicle because the lady is pretty persistent about keeping it in the garage and those are pretty much uh, some of the hardest ones to deal with and so what they've done is they've gotten what's called a rigid replevin from a judge signed which allows them to take the sheriff's department over there and when they uh, execute that basically it means that they have to open the garage up or they're in default of what a judge has told them to do and they could be in trouble for it <coughs> but what they've uh, done is that uh, time to time this company calls me on special circumstances and has me uh, do different things for them. And in this case, they need to verify that the van is in the garage. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop by there and we're going to be using a fiber optic scope that I use uh, for this specific purpose. And it allows us to go up underneath the garage door in most cases and be able to see the license plates of the vehicles that are in there. So. Uh, We'll turn the camera off now and we'll uh, when we come back we'll be at the address and we'll show you how this is done all right so we're in front of the house and take a look under the garage door we're gonna see if we can see the license plate of the vehicle it's pretty windy out here so there's a lot of noise to kind of mask what we're doing we also got to watch and make sure that nobody's coming Just make out the license plate if you get close enough. That's our plate right there. So you can move the scope around. Yeah, that's our plate. Alright. So, we're gonna get out of here now. We've done what we came here to do. So, it is June 17th, 2011. It's a Friday, and uh, I'm doing some video editing here at my house, which is one of my favorite pastimes when I'm not uh, out in the field working on stuff, and I got a little bit of extra office time. I like to do some video editing. I just wanted to show we've got thousands and thousands of hours of video footage on uh, DVI uh, digital videotapes. Uh, that right there, that stack right there is just 2009, the year 2009. And back in the day before I had the uh, DVR sunglasses and the cameras on the trucks that I could capture video from. I used to use this camera right here for a couple of years. It's a good camera. I like the DVI tapes because they were small and portable and held a lot of data. Plus I had the uh, digital display here and I have an adapter for this uh, Carl Zeus lens that comes on this camera. There's actually threads inside there and I've got an adapter for my high uh, range spotting scope that I can put on the end of my spotting scope and then that camera can thread onto the end of that adapter and allows me to get video footage, scope out situations and things like that. But just want to show this new device that I just ordered off the internet from a company called Arcos. And it's a uh, 40 gig AV700 mobile DVR unit. Pretty cool. Uh, it's just before the technology of touchscreen came into play like we have on our droids and stuff. But uh, So it does have a little joystick here that you use to control to move around from scene to scene but I wanted to show here on the video capture capabilities I got this it's got this little box that plugs into the back of it and allows me to come in from the camera using a little adapter that I got a little three-way tree adapter that does the audio and video and brings in any source I can actually switch over to camera view and from camera view 
Let me bring it over here so it doesn't squeal because the microphone is on right now. You can see the picture as I move it around my bedroom. You can kind of hear an echo because i got the speakers turned up. Bring it back here a little bit of a distance. Anyways, but I can also bring in the uh, videos that are on here. I can hit play and it'll start playing the repos and I can record them directly then hit start recording and I can bring them into this thing in a Windows Media format or an MP4 or an AVI format which takes them straight from DVI tape right onto my 40 gig hard drive that's built into this thing and this thing's totally portable and so if I'm going on a flight or something like that if I'm going on a flight or something like that I can uh, have all my videos, libraries on there and stuff. This thing was only 130 bucks, and it's got a 40 gig built in. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of other features too that make it, it's not just a video, video editing tool, but it also has games and uh, photos, music. I can store just about anything digital on this device. It's got a scheduler, so I can set it up to schedule a recording at a certain time. It has just an audio recorder. And then obviously I can browse around. There's the games. I can download games from the net and put them on there. So if you're traveling with kids and stuff or if you just want to play some games yourself, you can put full-length movies on there and watch them. It's a real nice, large uh, screen compared to like a standard size keyboard. You can see it's pretty large. It's uh, about the size of a, the new tablets that are coming out, the new Droid tablets and stuff. But instead of being uh, $700, it's only $139. And I like it. It's pretty cool. Just been playing with it a little bit. It's got video pass through with video in and video out so that I could put it in one of my trucks and actually feed it back through one of my cameras and start playing DVR footage right from my backup camera into here. So I might start playing with some of those things. Another thing I wanted to show, which is kind of cool, let me grab the wireless keyboard here. If you go to repoindustry.com on the home page, you'll see a link that says reader submissions you click on that and the very first article right here on the side that says learning to read what people are really saying you click on that it's a really cool article it's actually the first article I've ever done before that has been published and they put it online I give credit to the other sources where I pull a lot of my statistics from and stuff about a lot of the advanced stuff because I didn't invent the skill of uh, reading people and how to tell when they're lying. That was uh, invented years before I was ever even born. But the uh, philosophy of how it plays into our industry and being applied to the repo industry is unique. And I'm the one that did uh, write this about uh, how to apply it uh, while repossessing and stuff. And it's really good information. It's my first publication. It's pretty long, so that's why I'm just recommending you go on the web and read it. They give my company and myself credit for the uh, article there. It's pretty cool, but uh, go to repoindustry.com. It's the uh, leading magazine for our uh, market and uh, industry for any businesses out there. Anyone that's got interest in repossession, it's a really good uh, website. It's a really good uh, magazine too. I recommend that you get the I get the online version, but there's a lot of people that still have it mailed out to their offices and stuff. It's cool. So uh, go check it out, repoindustries.com. Click on reader submissions. And then click on the first link for the first article there on how to know what people are really saying. And uh, tell me what you think. Maybe add comments to this video and uh, let me know. So well, I'll be publishing more stuff up there. And as I get more publications online, I'll uh, let you guys know. So I've got some other cool stuff to show you as well. Uh, we'll do that in another video segment coming up here pretty quick. But uh, as we go through all of these, I'm going to get through 2009 uh, the best I can. There's like thousands and thousands of hour footage for me to run through this thing, but I'm going to start playing with it tonight and start ripping some footage on there. It's back when I only had one camera angle, but there are a lot more night repos because this thing has night vision on it, and so I was able to pick up a lot of uh, night repos and what was going on and stuff, and some of my older videos that are up online came from this camera. I used to go directly into my laptop with a firewire connection, but uh, just seems to work better doing it on this thing so can't beat it for 130 bucks watches the videos come up and get some old school stuff posted here pretty soon